Peter Woods joins us now. And Peter, we kind of talked earlier, kind of watched you grow up here at Thompson on the field. What do you think is one of the biggest lessons you've learned so far here? Uh, you know, I just kind of learned how to grow up and uh, be a leader and, you know, grow these young guys up. And I've learned a lot of lessons that you can apply to life um, from football. So just learning how to apply those. You mentioned being a leader in these young guys and you have a younger defense and you are kind of leading that defense, teaching them to grow. What are some things you're hoping they kind of take away when you leave this year? Uh, you know, just take away, you know, those leadership skills and my work ethic when I came up as a young eighth grader, just being able to uh, come into a new environment and not really be the guy, but have to work up to that. That's something that I want to take with me and something that I even have now. Just, you know, always trying to prove myself and get better. Now, I mentioned um, earlier, I asked you guys some questions beforehand, and you have a post-game tradition with some of the guys. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings, going to get the wings and stuff. Uh, something that we really, that I really started, you know, like my freshman year, you know, with some of the D linemen, and um, we just kind of carried it over with, you know, JC and Elijah and some of the guys that's in my senior class now, and just uh, been doing that. Just keep, go, keep it going. Yeah, just, you know. What do you think is something that we've watched you grow here at Thompson, and we've watched this team grow and change? When you leave, and you said you mentioned your work, I think it would be memorable. How do you want people to remember Peter Woods? Um, you know, just I want people to remember me off the field just as much as they do on the field. You know, what kind of guy is he? What kind of person is he? And what kind of leader is he? You know, all that stuff is really important to me because, you know, at the end of the day, if I do what I have to do, you know, in the film room and on the field, I'm going to produce. But, you know, the type of person that I am is what really matters to me. So. You mentioned off the field. So what do you like to do away from football? Um, let's see. I spend time with my family, like playing video games, talking to my friends, um, I sing a little bit with my family and stuff like that. So um, You know I'm going to want you to hear you sing now, right? Not right now. I just, <laughs> just got on the field. And, you know, we'll yeah. get you to do that later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anytime you mention that, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to hear that now. Yeah, yes, ma'am. So I have to ask, how tall are you? Uh, like 6'4". Because I'm 5'2", and I have on heels, and you kind of made a joke about me being short well, a while ago. Look, look, you look a little taller than 5'2 right now. <laughs> just the heels. With the 6-inch heels. <laughs> Anything I can do to add a little bit of height. Peter, yeah, yes, thank you so much for kind of letting us be part of your journey here at Thompson, and I look forward to watching you Friday night. Yes, ma'am. I've been loving it. So, yes, I am 5'2". Let me interrupt you. Yes. I love Peter Woods, okay, <laughs> because he and I have a little thing in common. We'd love to pick on Donette. As a matter of fact, there's stuff I could pick on you about today, but I'm not. I am 5'2", and he is, I don't even know how tall, but he has to remind me that on a regular basis. And if you did not see him on senior night walking down, mm -hmm. had his tongue out the whole time. Yeah, I saw that. Being just, being Peter. Yeah, being Peter. Whole family's kind of. A lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to be around. Yeah, they are. They really are.